This is Showtime 112. We're still in Vietnam and still dealing with Operation Rolling Thunder, but in this video we will focus on some other airplanes that were involved in this operation. If A4 Skyhawk was US Navy's favorite bomb delivering platform in the early phase of the Vietnam War, uh, then its US Air Force counterpart would probably be F-105 Thunder Chief, usually known as the Thud. Just like A4 Skyhawk, he was also originally designed for a tactical nuclear strike, but he spent most of its career delivering conventional bombs in Southeast Asia. Apart from this basic mission, there was also a rather specialized mission flown by a two-seat variant of the airplane uh, that was called Wild Weasel. Its task was uh, surface-to-air missile suppression, and it also uh, featured specialized electronic warfare officer in the back seat. One more interesting fact about F-105 Thunder Chief is that it was a, a successful MiG killer. Although it was not designed to be a fighter, it was not very maneuverable, it still managed to uh, shoot down 27 and a half MiG-17s uh, in 1966 and 1967. Just for comparison, uh, US Air Force F-4 Phantoms were flying uh, primarily combat air patrol missions were only credited with 21 MiG-17s in that same period. One of the factors uh, was probably an internal gun that uh, F-105 carried and early versions of Phantom didn't carry because most of the kills were actually scored by the gun. One F-105 pilot that was uh, both Wild Weasel and a MiG killer was Major Leo Torsnes. On 30th of April, on this day, uh, he took off for his second mission over North Vietnam. Afternoon mission he joined as a spare, and 11 days previously, he flew a mission for which he was awarded Medal of Honor, on which he shut down his uh, MiG-17. On the other side, the North Vietnamese MiG-21 community was uh, recovering from a very serious blow uh, that was made by uh, US Air Force Phantoms early in 1967. Operation Bolo, that was led by famous uh, Robin Olds, managed to shoot down, um, according to American sources, seven MiG-21s, and according to Vietnamese sources, five MiG-21s. Silver lining was that all the pilots survived, but this was still very, very serious for uh, for the MiG-21 community, and it took them several months to recover from that. And one consequence of that event was that they decided to change their tactics. They would now focus more on guerrilla-style hit-and-run tactics, uh, attacking either from a higher altitude or from a lower altitude, that would quickly launch their anti air missiles, and then run away. We are now joining uh, two pilots of 921st North Vietnamese Regiment, Li Trong Huyen and Nguyen Nok Do, who took off uh, to intercept a group of American F-105s, and they were expected to wait at low altitude and then hope to pop up and shoot some of them down.
and we are now in our patrol zone in a valley. We will be flying at low altitude, orbiting and uh, waiting for the F-105 group to arrive. And in this particular moment, F-105s were flying directly above MiG-21s. We didn't notice them. Um, MiG-21s either were able to detect the thugs visually or they were given cue by the ground control. The F-105s were flying at rather high speed, which made intercept difficult, but uh, apparently MiG-21s were ideally positioned. I have you on our radar.
and this was a successful hit. F-105 flown by uh, Major Leo Torsnes was hit by ATO missiles fired by Li Trong Huyen, which according to the new tactics died for the ground and escaped. Uh, Leo Torsnes' uh, wingman Robert Abbott was also hit by the other MiG-21 flown by Nguyen Nogdo. This was a single seat variant. Uh, all three crew members successfully ejected from their airplanes but were soon captured by the North Vietnamese. And we are back. This was a very successful day for MiG-21s. Apart from those two F-105s, two more were shot down by them, uh, including one of them flown by uh, the future ranking North Vietnamese ace Nguyen Van Kok. As for Major Leo Torsnes, uh, he was captured and spent the next six years as a prisoner of war until being finally released in 1973. I hope you liked this video, if you did, be sure to press the like button, that's very important for the channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and keep watching Showtime 112.